Hello, how to solve 5 power t and this equals t power 65? We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, we are going to start by eliminating this t here because I want all the variables to be in one side and the numbers should be in one side. So let's eliminate this t. So we are going to have 5 power t and this is raised to the power of 1 over t. And this equals t power 65. And this is raised to the power of 1 over t. Now, if you have a power n, raised to the power of n equals a power n times m. We multiply this out and we multiply this out. So what we are going to have left will be 5 to the power of t times 1. This is t over t, and this equals t to the power of 6 to 5 times 1. This is 6 to 5 over t. So from here, remember, t over t is 1, because they will surely cancel out. We have 5 equals t to the power of, this is 6 to 5 divided by t. Now, like I said, I want to ensure that only the variables are in this part of the equation. So I need to also eliminate this 6 to 5 right here. And for me to achieve that, I will multiply the exponent by 1 over 6 to 5. I have 5 equals, this is t power 6 to 5 divided by t raised to the power, this is 1 over 6 to 5. Then, I do the same thing here. This is 1 over 6 to 5. So, I multiply out the exponents. I have 5 raised to the power of 1 over 6 to 5. And this equals c power 6 to 5 times 1. This is 6 to 5 divided by c times 6 to 5. 6 to 5 t. So right now, 6 to 5 eliminates 65. So what I have left is just 5 raised to the power of 1 over 65. And this equals t raised to the power of 1 over t. Now, if you observe, there is t here, there is t here, there is 5 here, and there is 6 to 5 here. So I will make sure that the base here is the same as what we have here so that it will correspond to this other one here. So I'm going to make use of equivalent fractions. That means I can have this as 5 to the power of 1 times 1 over 6 to 5. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now, I have one right here. Instead of having this one, I can simply replace it with 5 over 5. So this is the concept that we are going to use to ensure that the base here is the same as what we have done. So I have 5 to the power of, instead of writing this one, I have 5 over 5, which is the same thing as 1, times 1 over 6 to 5. And this equals t power 1 over t. So from here, I'm simply going to have 5 to the power of 5 times 1. We multiply this out. That is 5 divided by 5 times 6 to 5. This is 3, 1 to 5. And this equals t power 1 over t. Now, I can decide to factor up this 5. I have 5 to the power of this is 5 times 1 over 3, 1 to 5. And this equals t power 1 over t. So right now, if you have a power n times n equals a power n, 
history prof and I apply this right here. So what I'm going to have left here will simply be 5 to the power of 5. And this raised to the power of 1 over 3, 1, 2, 5. And this equals t power 1 over t. So remember, 5 to the power of 5 is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. That is 5 into 5 places. So this will be... This is 3, 1, 2, 5, because you simply have 5, 4, 5. Equals 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Multiply this out. 25, 1, 2, 5, 6, 2, 5, 3, 1, 2, 5. So you simply have 3, 1, 2, 5. Raised to the power of 1 over 3, 1, 2, 5. And this equals t power 1 over t. Now we have gotten something very good. 3, 1, 2, 5. 3, 1, 2, 5. T, T. Now if you have A power 1 over A. And this equals B power 1 over D. That means you can have 1 over A equals 1 over D. So if you cross multiply. A times 1. A equals B times 1. B. We apply this same rule right here. That means you are going to have 1 divided by 3, 1, 2, 5 equals 1 divided by t. We cross multiply t times 1. t equals 3, 1, 2, 5 times 1. 3, 1, 2, 5. So this is our t. Now that is the value of t that we will satisfy this equation but we are yet to find out if it's going to satisfy the equation so let's go ahead and do that i have to check i'm going to insert that value of t right here of t equals 3 1 2 5 so right now i have 5 to the power of t equals t power 6 to 5 so right now I have my 3, 1, 2, 5 right here. This is 5 to the power 3, 1, 2, 5. And this equals 3, 1, 2, 5 to the power of 6, 2, 5. So right now, I'm going to have 5 to the power of 3, 1, 2, 5. And this equals 3, 1, 2, 5 is the same thing as 5 to the power of 5. And this is raised to the power of 6 to 5. So, remember, we are going to multiply this exponent out. That means we have 5 to the power of 3, 1, 2, 5. And this equals 5 to the power of 5 times 6 to 5. That is 3, 1, 2, 5. This equals this. That means that particular solution is obviously correct. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Thank you and goodbye.